focusing on mobility. Um, if you could make sure you have some kind of block, uh, could be a pillow um, by your side and also maybe a pillow for underneath your knees for some of our uh, postures. We're going to start in a seated position and that can either be in Sukhasana, so easy seat, also sitting on a block in hero's pose or even if that isn't accessible, you can have your legs extended. So whatever posture works for you, shape, just to come into that shape. We're gonna work on listening to the body, so the intuition of our bodies. And what does that mean? That means that we are unique people. We have our own unique blueprint in our bodies. And the way we move and the way our bodies move is unique to us. So different shapes in our bodies will be different for everyone. We need to embrace that. So today, my intention for the practice is to really listen to the body, your cues, Maybe also notice how you talk to your body as you are in these different shapes. So just starting in an easy seat and your right hand onto your heart and your left hand just gently on your thigh and closing your eyes. And just noticing the beating of your heart. in this beautiful space. It's pure and light. Can you start to imagine your life? It's golden, pink, pale, whatever color that is for you, start to imagine. in your heart, start to imagine a feeling. And let that feeling start to permeate through the whole body. Slowly bringing the left hand over the right hand. Can we find this self-care, this feeling throughout our practice today? I invite you to observe, to explore, to feel your unique life. Gently open your eyes. We're going to work on a breath, pranayama.
balances the left and the right sides of the body and the brain. We're going to take our right hand, our two fingers, our index and our middle finger, and just place them at the top of your forehead. And then take your thumb and your baby finger and just place them up. We alternate the breath. We're going to plug the right nose with the thumb and breathe in through the left nares. Taking your ring finger and pressing into the left nares and breathing out through the right nares. Inhale through the right nares, press your thumb into your nasal passage and exhale through the left. Moving at your own breath. So inhale left, index finger, exhale right side. Move with your own breath here. And as you move through this breath, can you picture? The breath going out through the nares, passing through the bridge of the brain, and coming out the other side. cycles, ending with the left side. When we have completed the last cycle, just sit quietly, just noticing the effects. are in Sukhasana, just switch legs. If you're in here as opposed to stay where you are. We're going to take our fingers by our side and we're going to inhale just all the way up and looking up. Exhale, bring the hands by your side. Two more. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, bring the fingers down. Last one. Inhale, lift up. Look up and hold here. Slowly bend the elbows coming into cactus arms and slowly rotate the body towards the right side of the mat and then coming to center. So inhale to the left side, exhale to center. Inhale, right side, exhale, center. So just move to your own breath again. Noticing where the twist is coming from. Should be coming from the upper part of the body and the head follows. One more each side. And then place the arms. And we're gonna just do some shoulder rolls. So rolling the shoulders behind you and then rolling the shoulders forward. And then we're going to take the legs out to the side. You're going to roll the back of your mat and then roll the front of your mat. Just fold it up in half. So bring the heels to the front of your mat. Hopefully you're on carpet or uh, could be hardwood floors. And then bring your hands, the fingers pointing towards your pelvis behind you. Place your wrist right on where you've rolled your mat, so it's a really nice way to prop up and help support the wrists. So we're going to slowly press into our hands and lift our pelvis up towards the sky, look up, or look between your knees, hold here. Exhale, 
pelvis comes down. We're gonna push into our heels and push forward. Draw your heels towards your body. Press into your hands, lift your pelvis up, desk pose. Exhale, pelvis comes down. We're gonna start a little pull. Push the heels out. Bring the heels towards the body. Press into the feet, lift the pelvis up. Look towards the ceiling. Exhale, pelvis down. Reach the heels forward. Bring the heels towards you. Inhale, lift the pelvis up. Exhale, pelvis comes down. Here we go. Inhale, last one. Draw the heels out. Pull them towards you. Use active muscles, lifting the pelvis up. Exhale, pelvis comes down. Let's just take the mat, bring it forward. Take the feet to the outsides of your mat and just shake out the wrists a little bit. And then bring the hands again comfortably behind you, this time changing the angle of your hands. So fingers towards the outsides of the mat. Feet are a little bit greater than distance, hip distance apart. I'm just gonna slowly open the knees towards the outsides of the mat and slowly draw them in. And just do a kind of like, uh, kind of use momentum. Just see how that feels. You don't feel a lot of engagement. We're just moving back and forth, back and forth. And now we're gonna add some resistance, so some active movements. We're gonna take the hands to the outsides of the thighs and slowly press our hands into the thighs and allow our knees to come open using some active. So it's like hugging our hip. So we're pushing out. And just notice the difference between the momentum of your body and adding resistance. So you can keep pressing your hands into your thighs or you can do it without it. See if you could still maintain that resistance. Not just keep the hands here. We've got four more. Press your hands into your thighs and your thighs into your hands, reaching the knees towards the outsides of the mat. We're gonna hold three, and two, and one, and then release. We're gonna just windshield wiper the legs now. Just releasing that shape. Slowly extend the legs outward. And just slowly start to internally and externally move your feet. And just kind of do it willy-nilly, maybe leading from the feet, just noticing how that feels. A lot of momentum. You don't feel a lot of engagement, but we're going to add some active movement. So leading from our pelvis, sitting up tall, we're going to just, you can even press your fingers onto those hip bones and start to lead from the hips. You can even feel your legs going inward, and then outward. So slow it down. Inward, pointing to the toes towards each other, and then taking the toes to the outside. Notice the difference. More and more like that. It's like we're taking an ear cleaner and we're going in and out with that big bone in our hip bone. So moving the fluid around, you may feel some cricks and so forth. And this is unique to you, so just enjoy. And as we keep moving, see if you can keep moving, but taking the legs out, maybe a little bit more to the outside. Again, internal, external. Just moving the toes towards each other and away from each other. And then move them out a little bit more. Again, changing and varying our shapes are really healthy for our bodies. So not doing the same thing helps us find more mobility in our body. So one more here. And then pause. We're gonna slowly just start to move our hands up and down our body. When we bring attention to parts of our body, we build these incredible pathways that are unique again to us. So just 
Bringing the hands down and then slowly brushing softly our legs. From the inside to the outside. One last time. And then we're just going to start to squeeze. Squeeze the legs as we move up. And then move down. Again, finding a tension here. Just thinking about what our muscles and ligaments feel like in our own bodies. One more time going down and coming up. And then shake it up. Just shake up the legs. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna come into a 90-90 position. So we're gonna start with our left leg forward, coming into 90 or deer pose. So left foot forward into a 90 degree angle and right leg behind. And just notice again how that feels in the body. I'm gonna face this way. So we're pointing the pelvis forward, the hip bones forward, and bring your fingers to the outsides of the mat and look forward. Try and actively press the front shin, so the left shin down and the right shin down into the mat. Just noticing how that feels in the body. Your breath. We're going to bring our hands to forward of our left shin and just actively press your fingers into the mat and lean forward. Again, we're not looking for bringing our forearms down, we're just looking to face forward and pressing into our legs. You can use blocks underneath the hands. start to move our right hip. So you can even press your finger on your right hip to isolate. We're going to press our bottom down into the mat and then we're going to roll it forward. So all you're moving is your pelvis. You're facing forward and you're lifting your bottom up and slowly pressing it down. At the same time as pressing everything down in the mat. Rolling forward pressing the knob down. So we're moving and isolating the movement just to the right hip. our legs forward and shake out your legs and just notice how that felt in that hip. 
coming to the other side. So we're gonna bring the right shin forward, and the left knee behind. Really come into that position and notice how this feels in your body. Okay? Again, looking forward, pelvis is forward, forward, and you can bring your fingers to the outside just for balance your blocks and look forward. Press into the front of your leg and the back of the leg and notice where your heel is and make sure, again, in your own body where you feel this 90-90. Slowly bring your hands forward, look forward. Press everything into the mat. towards the right side of the mat, your right knee, fingers tenting or flat on the floor, and turn your body towards the right side, and breathe. Bring your fingers tented just for balance. We're going to slowly again start to isolate that pelvic movement, that rolling forward, lifting the pelvis up, and exhaling the pelvis down. Notice how that feels in the body, in your own body, just rolling forward, lifting the bottom up, and pressing the pelvis down. And trying to keep the hip points forward and pressing everything else down into the mat. Exploring how this feels on this side of your body. Start to isolate the movement again, lifting the knee up. You can even bring your hand to your hip and just slowly start to lift the left knee up, facing forward. Again, using your fingers for balance, you're pressing into that back heel, back foot, and lifting from the hip joint. Notice the difference in this hip. Notice. Stand them forward. Again, shake out the legs. And we're going to slowly come to all fours. Coming to all fours, we're going to work on a little bit. Come right to the back of your mat. We're going to work on some crawling. Very good for the brain. Great, really great for the leg movement and the arms movement. So just walk the right hand forward, and then the left knee forward. So it sounds really basic, doesn't it? But you have to think about it first. Left hand comes forward, right knee comes forward. So just right hand forward, left knee. And just coming slowly into this crawling. 
and we'll add a new dynamic. Once we get to the top of your mat, we're gonna go backwards. Left knee back, right hand back. Again, using your own pace. Opposite hand, opposite knee. When you get to the back of your mat, let's try lifting up the knee. So we're gonna lift the right hand, right, left knee, hold, place down. Lift left hand, right knee, press down. Actively lifting and pressing down. Actively lift, press down. All the way till you get to the top of your mat or past it. And let's go backwards. Lifting the right hand, left knee. Maybe you don't even have to think about this. Left hand, right knee. Kids are probably rocking this. <laughs> but notice how your brain explores this movement. The last one is we get back to the back of our mat and pause here. Tuck your toes your back and the back of your mat, press into your hands and rotate the elbows forward. Press into the hands so that you're rounding your back. Hold here and keep pressing into that mat. Rotate those elbows and feel the energy of your armpits, the sides of your body engaged. And then slowly release. We're going to walk forward again to come to middle of our mats. And then slowly come to the middle. I'm going to come into the center of my mat and grab your block. And I'll start this way. I'll start this way. <laughs> so we're coming in to support a gate pose. You can start on the high, the middle, or the low. I'm going to just bring it to the middle and press your left hand into the block. Extend your right leg. Make sure that you ensure that your hip, your knee, and your foot are in one line, and press your hand into the block. Right hand is on your hip. And hold here. Rotate the shoulder up and look up. Lift your right arm up. Hold here. We're gonna slowly add some circles. Noticing again, as you open up the body, lifting the arm up, bring the arm down. Keep pressing into all the points that are on the mat or the block. And then we can start to reverse. Reverse the movement. Again, noticing our, the floor, Noticing our foot on the floor, noticing our hand on the mat or the block. And the next time you come to center, pause here. We're going to bring our hand on our hip, press into the block and lift. Yes, you're right, we're lifting that right foot and pause here. Hold here for three and two and one. And then we're going to just start tapping. So it comes up and just tap. For the count of eight. Three more. And then hold here again. Oh, we can start to feel the hugging around that hip. And we're going to slowly float that foot forward and start tapping here for eight. Last one, hold here, oh my goodness, ah! And we're gonna slowly float it behind us, and then float it forward. Float it behind us, oh, I'm hearing the cracks and crooks in my own body. Float it forward, 
Float it behind, float it forward. Two more, float behind, float it forward. Last one, float it behind you and hold here. We're gonna start to tap the back foot. Noticing all the muscles hugging around the right hip joint. You can do fast taps or slow taps. Four more. And pause here, holding here. Now I'm gonna invite you to bring that heel back and even grab on to the top of the foot. You can use the strap or the ankle and pause here. Feeling a stretch at the front of the right thigh. And breathing. Exhale, we're gonna release that leg and just come into standing on our knees. Just roll the shoulders forward and back, maybe shake it out a little bit till we come to the other side. Again, center the mat. You're extending the opposite leg, which would be the left leg. Hand on your block or the floor, coming into the middle side. Again, looking at where your leg is extending from. So just noting hip, knee, foot is pressing into the mat. We're gonna slowly press into our right hand and roll the shoulder back. I invite you to lift the left arm up. You can look up or you can look down, whatever works for your neck. Keep pressing into your foot and your hand and slowly start to add those beautiful circles. Finding movement in the shoulder. switching directions. If you've lost your breath, find your breath here. Next time you're at center, pause here. Bring your hand to your hip. And then press into the block and lift your left foot off the mat. Hold here. Again, for some you might want the adventure of lifting that arm up. It's up to you. You're at home. You can do whatever you feel like doing. And then we're going to start tapping the foot. Maybe slowly starting to feel the muscles surrounding the hip joint. So this is more of an active movement. And active movements are really beneficial to increase mobility of our body and of our hip joint. Three more. And then hold here, flexing the foot and slowly bringing it forward. Yeah, this is hard work. We're going to start to tap the foot on the front of our mat with a count of eight. You might find some lovely engagement of that glute knee, that area of our pelvis, our bottom. We've got four, three, two, one, and then hold up here. Oh. And then sweep it behind and sweep it forward. Noticing again the different muscles, what we're using. So sweeping it forward, sweeping it behind us. Forward, behind, forward, behind and hold here, and then slowly start to tap the back foot for the count of eight. It's my lucky number. Hope it's yours too. Last one, we're gonna hold it up here and slowly invite you to grab onto your ankle, your foot, and then press your foot into your hand. Feeling a nice stretch at the front of the thigh. And then slowly releasing that leg. 
We're going to come back to the tops of our mats. Just have your block handy at the top of your mat. <clears throat> Press into your fingers. Bring your knees behind your hips and come into your first downward facing dog or child's pose. Again, walking your heels, bending your right knee, pressing into your left heel, and breathe. We're going to slowly walk our feet towards our hands and pause in what I would call dangle pose and allow the head and neck to release. Take the head side to side, bringing the hands onto opposite elbows or hands on the mat or blocks. We're going to press into our feet and slowly lift ourselves up as we push off the ground to come all the way up, lifting our arms up, looking up and bring hands to heart center. Take a moment here for your breath. And we're gonna move into some modified sun salutations. So we'll start off with the modification and then we'll move to the full, okay? So you choose which one works for your body. So we're gonna inhale, lift all the way up to the arms, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to the halfway. Exhale, extend that right leg back. Bring your knee down. Inhale, lift the arms straight up. Pause here. Exhale, hands to the mat. Bring the left knee down, puppy pose. Inhale, forward. Exhale, step that right leg forward. Inhale, lift the arms straight up. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Lift the back knee up, step forward. Dangle pose, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Press into your feet, lift all the way up. Look up, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift the arms straight up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step that left leg back. Place the knee on the mat. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands come down. Puppy pose, all fours and puppy pose. Pause here. Inhale, come forward. Step your left foot forward. Look forward. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Pick up your right knee, step forward, and fold forward. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale, fold. Press into your feet and lift the arms straight up. Hands to heart center on your exhale. Pause here. And we're going to repeat that. You can use the modified or you can come to the full sun salutation. So here we go. Inhale, lift all the way up. Look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come to that halfway, look forward. Exhale, hands to the mat, step that right leg back. Bring the knee down, pause here, look forward. Inhale, lift straight up. Exhale, hands come down, lift the back knee, downward facing dog, all fours, our puppy pose. Inhale, lift that right leg up, step it forward, place the left knee down, 
Inhale, lift all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Lift the back knee up. Step forward. Pull forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. And then press into your feet. Lift all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift the arms straight up. Last side, exhale all the way down. Inhale to your halfway lift. Exhale, step that left leg back. Place the left knee down on the mat. Look forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands down again. Come into all fours or puppy pose or straight back to downward facing dog. Pause here. Inhale, lift the left leg up, step it forward. Or in all four, step it forward, bring the knee down. Inhale, lift all the way up with the arms, look up. Exhale, place the hands down, lift the back knee up, step forward, pull forward. Press into your feet and come all the way up to standing. Hands to heart center. by your side. We're going to take our block to the front of the mat, so place it to the left side of the mat. And if you're near a wall, options to be by the wall, because this is kind of a balance challenge and also a release of the psoas. So you can bring the left foot on the block, keeping the right foot on the floor for now. Press into your left foot and slowly come up where maybe your toes are just grazing the mat. Bring your hands by your side for balance. Again, a wall works really well, a chair. And slowly start to just allow that right foot to go back and forth. Again, releasing the movement is coming from the hip. See if you can keep that pelvis nice and still. And then slowly bend into that right knee and hold here for three and two and one and bring the foot down and let's just shake out our hips so bringing the feet to the outside of the mat we're going to just what i call tick tock so we're moving pressing into our feet and we're moving from the hip joint tick tock tick tock moving back and forth, back, side to side. And then releasing, shaking it out a little bit, letting all that sort of static energy moving around and we're gonna place that block onto the right side. Slowly stepping the right foot onto the block and just pause here, maybe bring your hands by balance on a wall or a chair and press your right foot into the block, slowly grazing that left foot on the mat. And then you're gonna slowly just start, to, as a pendulum, you're gonna start to move the foot back and forth, embracing the balance of your body. Again, using a wall works really well with this. And we're going back and forth as slow or as fast as you like, and also inviting the range of motion. Maybe you wanna come farther back, farther forward, but see if you can maintain the pelvis still. And still feeling your foot on the mat, on the, uh, on the block, you're gonna bend that left knee. And just hold here. sides of our mat. Coming into what I would call a goddess pose. We're going to take our block in our hands. We're going to get some shoulder mobility in this practice today. So 
Take your hands to the outsides of the block in what I call the landscape method. Press onto the outsides and press into the block, feeling the silk, how solid it is, the texture, and then we're gonna slowly bend into our knees. So we're gonna bend into our knees. Oh, I heard that little crack. <laughs> Keep pressing into our hands and slowly push off. So it's gonna be resistance. We're gonna make this very active. We're gonna press into our feet and slowly come up, lift the block straight up to the sky, press into the block. So inhale here, exhale, we're gonna slowly come down, slowly, like three, two, one, hold here, press into our block. And then we're gonna push off again, into the feet, three, two, one, lift that block straight up, press our hands into the block. We're gonna do two more like that. Keep pressing into the block. Here we come down. Three, two, one. Feel all the anchor points on the ground, on the block, and coming all the way up. Three, two, one. Lift all the way up and hold here for three, two, one, and release. <sighs> Shake it out. Okay, bring the block by your side here. We're gonna come to the top of our mat and make our way to the floor. So we're gonna inhale here, lift all the way up. Exhale, bring our fingers to the mat, bring your right knee to the mat, bring your left knee to the mat. We're gonna come to all fours. Pressing our fingers into the mat, we're gonna step our right foot forward. And then we're gonna walk our right foot to the corner of the mat. So coming into pigeon prep. So right foot to the corner of the mat, fingers on the inside, and slowly come to the knife edge side of your foot. So we're gonna hold here. Again, this is where you can play. If you've got blankets, if you've got a pillow, you can even come down to your forearms. Notice the sensations in your knee, and again, moving from the hip joint, just like we've been moving throughout the class. So coming down again to the hands or the forearms, and pausing here. We call this in yin uh, winged dragon, and it's also been called pigeon prep. Are down, bring your hands to the mat and slowly bring the foot to the mat, walking your foot to center and just coming to all fours again, maybe shaking the hip side to side. We're going to come to the other side, so we're going to step our left foot forward. Coming into what I call uh, a low lunge, you're going to walk your left foot to the corner and point your toes to the corner. Bring your hands to the inside of that left foot, looking forward. And then I invite you to bring, if that feels good to your body, bringing your left foot to the knife edge side, so the side of the foot, looking at the ankle, and bringing the knee towards the outside of the mat, as I said, into pigeon prep or uh, what we call winged dragon. And then this is where you can work with your own unique blueprint in your body, is can you, do you want to bring your forearms down? Do you want to use blocks? Looking forward to finding a nice stretch. Again, observing how it feels. lifted, walking it to center, and coming back to our all fours. We're going to sit on our heels and come into legs extended and move our weight down to the floor. This is a really good time to get your blankets or your iPad, your, your pads for your eyes, or anything that's going to make you cozy as we move into Shavasa. 
and also invite you to stay in Shavasana if the, the tape ends and you really want to stay in line down. It's a really great day to, to um, rest and, and take a pause. So coming down to our backs, you're going to slowly come down to your backs. Your knees can be bent, feet on the floor or legs extended. You can bring the legs to the outsides of the mat and pause here and find some comfort here. Okay, and coming all the way down to your back. We can windshield wipe with the legs. And then bringing your knees to chest and just making circles on the ceiling. Slowly bending the knees, coming into what I would call happy baby. Just for one last move of the hips, you can bring your hands to the insides of your legs to reach either the shins, the ankles, or the outsides of your feet. Pressing your feet towards the ceiling and pressing your pelvis down into the mat. And breathing here. Slowly bringing your feet down to the mat, extending the legs out, <clears throat> and taking as much space as you need for your relaxation. Again, bringing your hand, your right hand into your heart, left hand on your belly. And coming back to that beautiful space. Beautiful heart space with your life. 